Hey guys, this is Superfly Todd, and this is Let's Play EverQuest. This is Boom, Boom Grove, our level 7 uh, wizard. I know when we left the last episode, we were at level 6. Um, but we have actually, I had a, some recordings that got corrupted, and so we're uh, recording from where we uh, last left off. So I apologize for the little bit of gap there. Uh, we just killed a couple uh, monsters and we turned in a couple quests real fast and that's where we're at now. One of the things that I did want to show is we did claim our veterans rewards. So we now have those. So what I did was create a couple hot buttons for just a couple of the ones that we'll use right away. Uh, Throne of Heroes is always a really good. It's a free port that we'll use. Steady Fast and our lessons. Those are going to be the important uh, veterans ones we're going to use. And right down here is a NPC that we need, uh, the locksmith. And there was just somebody down here. There's like 17 people in the zone right now, which is an unbelievable amount of people for the uh, for the gloom and deep. So let's uh, let's attack. I'm gonna get two. I really didn't want to get to, but I didn't want to lose out on this mob to that other person since they kind of jumped ahead of us to... Plus, we'll get some nice, good experience off these guys since they're both white. Okay. I think we still needed to get a Slave Warden for the one of the other quests that we had, so... This all works out at the end. Uh, we got some gloves. Not very good gloves. I think I already got those. Uh, we did get an AUG though, which is, I will totally take the AUG. We'll leave the gloves. All right, so the AUG, we'll just go ahead and put that up in our chest piece up here. Any stats increase is better than no stat increase, so. Good. I was going to have to kill that guy, and that guy took it from us, so. Uh, we need to turn this into him, so. Perfect. Select. Which, I, let's see here. We have some cheesy gloves. These are way better. We'll put those on. And that takes our intelligence up to 154. That was like a pretty good jump in intelligence. Again, more intelligence we have just increases our mana pool. We're sitting at 282 uh, mana pool right now, so right on. That's good. We'll uh, mana up there. Let that guy finish that kill. And let's take a look again. Yeah, we're still sitting about 16 people, 15 people here in the zone. So, And we're going to let ourselves mana up, too. And we're sitting about oh, a third of the level into level 7, too. We didn't get our level 6 spells. Uh, we still need to do that. That's something we need to pick up. And then the level 7 spells are not anything worthwhile. So we'll just go ahead and pass on any uh, picking those up. And let's go ahead. Head on down in here. We still need to kill lots of these uh, goblins down here. Uh, let's clear some corpse. People leave their corpses laying around. Perfect. Ah. So what we're doing is we're working on completing this. So we have So we have to still kill two uh three more slave gardens, uh four more warriors and at least one more grunt. And we still need to kill 10 of these uh slaves. So uh but I just used all my mana. That's the downfall, of, you know, I find from choosing a, um, a pure caster is, you know, especially if you choose an enchanter that has the mana regeneration buffs, but, you know, I'm a wizard, I don't have that yet. I get a little buff, um, not so much a buff, but it's called a harvest spell later on that allows me to sacrifice and uh, get some, some additional mana. It's not a lot. Uh, the downfall, too, is also it uh, stuns you while you uh, cast that and, and you're stunned for, I think, boy, a good 5-10 seconds, so. Perfect. 
perfect. Look at that. All right, so now we have only a few more left of those to get. Um, I'm out of mana, but we're just gonna do this the old fashioned way. We're just gonna melee these. Plus it works on my my skills of uh, piercing, so. I won't be keeping a dagger for very long though. I won't wanna get, you know, some sort of staff or a, a mace. Get Definitely get a shield too. And we're working on our skill ups here, right here. You'll see that too. Okay, we'll kill some more of these. Turn up the volume just a smidgen. There you go. It's just a little low. I don't think it's gonna be too bad for YouTube, so I just uh, want to turn that up just a little bit. Alright, and I, th I think that was all of the goblins right down here. Yeah. So we'll go, and we have two minutes left on our buff, so let's go rebuff up, sell. We get that going here. Now, this guy this NPC wouldn't give me any quests earlier because I was too low now he definitely has quests for me so that's cool uh, I'm pretty sure I have all his quests too yes uh, I don't know if there's a lot of people multi-boxing or what but it's crazy seeing a lot of people typically I've been in the zones before where there's uh, only one or two people in here so All right, let's sell out some of this junk. Matter of fact, we will actually even sit um, just because. And I can't sell any of that. Let's just delete this stuff here. Don't need it sucking up my inventory space. We have some more stuff here too. Sitting about 13, 17 plat. Hey, right on. This is good. Nothing in there, nothing in there. We have a couple bricks in there we'll sell. All right, let's go over here. We'll go out and pick up those spells. Like I said, they were levels. I think there's two level six spells that we might as well just pick up. And wizard spells. We'll sit and man up while we're talking to this guy. Oh, won't do it. All right, level six, level six, level six. So we have ice strike, good spell to pick up, and our lesser shield spell. Cool. So let's man up and get those memmed. All right. So this was our minor shield. We'll replace that one with the lesser. Uh, the ice strike we will add, and I think the ice strike overrides this one, so we'll just go ahead and replace it. Perfect. Now, I think the lesser shield, I think the NPC's uh, buff that they cast here overrides the lesser shield anyway, so I'm just going to, I'll just use this, uh, and not worry about, of course we'll have to work on that skill later on. Uh, because we will have not cast it enough, so that's the downfall of using his buffs. Alright. It's going to get real thin uh, pickings of monsters in here because of the there's so many people. And we're probably all pretty close to doing the same quest right now. Look, these guys are killing these uh, Gloomin' Deeps just as much as I need them too, so... And we still need to get one more grunt. This is our grunt that we needed. 
perfect. Run through these guys. We need a bunch of warriors still. There's the good news is there's a warrior right here. Yeah, this works out pretty good. And then we're gonna go down to the pit. Because there's an NPC down there we need to go kill, so. I think it's Rock Flynn or something like that. It looks like. Oh. And that's not what you want to do. That was a good example of you don't want to fall to the bottom. Uh, look at my health. I almost died. Uh, now a slave decides to want to attack me. This is excellent. Good times. Oh, wow. We are going to most likely die right now, guys. This is excellent. Oh, look at that. St staying alive. Staying alive. Barely. Another nuke. Uh, oh, my gosh. We stayed alive. So what we need to do is we need to sit down. I think I had low hit point aggro on those guys. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. That oh, that's unfortunate. That definitely happened. So uh, we survived. Had to use a healing pot. I had to, to pull that out at the end. Uh, that guy just fell down. Hey, I'm not. I don't feel like a total noob now. Somebody else fell down here. Let's see. So of the goblins, we have four of those killed. We still need to do four captains. We still need quite a bit of these guys still too. This is the main chapter line. I'm not worried about that. And this is the uh, boss at the uh, down in the fort. So we'll worry about that in a little bit. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and pause the video right now. Let this mana up. And then I'll restart the video here in just a sec. All right, guys. We're back. Sorry about that again. I wanted to pause. I don't want you guys to have to sit and watch me man up and, and heal up. That's kind of a waste of, of uh, some good time. So uh, I paused the video, came back here, haven't moved at all, and we're pretty well healed up. So let's head back up the, the ramp. Shouldn't have to worry about low hit point aggro now, but the fact that we moved, uh, that we healed up quite a bit. So uh, let's go over here. And see, and I probably have a good feeling. Yeah, these are being cleared out. The gnomes that we need up. Oh, there's or goblins. There's one right here. So, where's my mercenary? He's supposed to stay with me. He's not here. What the heck? There he is. He's back now. Cool. I did want to... I uh, took off one of the spells that I had. This is the level one. This is this one. We'll keep this one mem too. There we go. More goblins. We still need lots of goblins. Lots of goblins. Five more. This will be our six right here. Four more after this. Okay. Oh, he's just killed the guy, so we will sit here and met up and wait for the NPC. The one cool thing about the uh, tutorial zone, this gloom and deep zone, is that uh, in the, all the mobs respawn very fast. So if somebody does kill something, don't don't sweat it. Just wait a little bit. Uh, the, it will respawn pretty quick. And Rock Flynn usually is going to be sitting right about here. Uh, there was a goblin here. Yeah, he cleared the room too. So he left the rats but cleared the room. So and we still need four more goblins. So give it a sec here. Rockflin too, the, you know, he's a he's spellcaster. He does uh, fire damage. So you kind of look out for that. 
back when they first released this, it was uh, he was a little tough. He nuke you down pretty good. Uh, but now, with the way the tutorial works and the type of armor that you get and stuff, uh, it's it's not bad at all. And my... Oh, as I was gonna say, there's my mercenary. I didn't know where he went. Dollar, the mercenary. Look at that hair. He's got a greased back. He's a, got some blonde Goldilocks or gold golden locks. Oh, there's a goblin over here. We need some, so we'll just go ahead and kill him while we're waiting. There we go. Working on the piercing skill, level 20. Where is this? Oh. He looks big. I guess he's standing on a rock, but I was like, wow, this guy looks way bigger than the normal ones. That's good. We only need three more. Two more after the skill. Still waiting for the name to spawn. Oh, there's Rock Rook Flynn. So we'll just burn this guy down. Ding, there we go. Look at that, guys. Level eight. Level eight. Still, I didn't check my level 8 spells. Darn it. I forget to keep checking ahead. I check the current level that I'm at, and I always forget to look ahead. Uh, we still need two more. Two more of the goblins. And he nuked me down pretty good. He got some pretty good hits in. There was a 49-point damage, another 49-point damage. Obviously, firebolts. So I think uh, he was a wizard, too. We're fellow wizards, man. Come on. We just got to treat everybody nice. We all can't be Harry Potter. Come on now. All right, let's go here. There okay, we go. Kill one more guy. Oh, there he is. There he goes. Oh, my mercenary beat me over here already. Okay. So we'll turn this one in as soon as we kill this guy. It will tell us where to turn it in. I forgot which NPC it is. So we'll find out here in a sec. Come on. Go down. There we go. We need to turn that into uh, one of those NPCs. Well, we'll go this way because we need that spirit ward word again. We need that guy. I think we still need some warriors too. Oh, there's a grunt. We don't need a grunt. Don't aggro us. We don't need you. Oh, there's some warriors. We'll run through these guys. We'll come back and get the warrior when we need that we need. Alright. I guess we could use our so our so wand. So we still need two more sleeve wardens and then three more warriors. So that's why I wanted to kill this guy. And there's normally a sleeve warden right up here. Ah, we will take that. That's a nice bracer, so. Oh, it put the bracer on for us already. Cool, awesome. B puts us now at a spell intelligence of 161. Not bad, not bad, not great, but not bad. We still need to get, uh, like I said, the goal is as fast as possible, we want to get to 255, the soft cap. Uh, that way, it will make leveling up to uh, level 60 much easier. 
Actually, level 50, I do believe. 50, because that's when we start earning uh, achievements. AA points. This guy doesn't want to go down. He's resisting us. Burn him. All right, so last time I checked on this, we still need one warden and two, or two more wardens and one more warrior, so. I just want to make sure also we got all the quests from these guys. I don't want to leave a quest. I have to run all the way back here. There's the slave warden. We need one of these guys. I just wish I had more health. I'll let the uh, mercenary tank this guy when we met up. That's what, shoot, that's what we pay him for, right? That's where he makes the big bucks. He can kill it for us while we met up. And I know where to go to get the last two, so we can get those last two. And then we can go down and start killing for the captains. Captains are outside the fort too, so those are probably one of the higher, harder mobs of in this zone. So um, I'm not too worried about it. We'll be able to burn them down. That's the good thing about being a warrior or a, a warrior, a, a wizard, is that we just we're nukers. That's what we do. We just nuke. We're squishy, but we can nuke. Need a wear though. Love to get uh, at least level nine before uh, the end of the video, and then also to try to go down there before we kill the the names at the end. This will make it a little easier. So we have all the warriors that we need. We don't need any more warriors. We do need uh, slave wardens, which are not up here. And we come down here. There's a warrior. There'll be a warrior there. There's a warrior there. Uh, Spirit Weaver down there. Spirit Weaver there. Um, wow. Never when I need. Never when I need one. They're always around when you don't need them. Let's see. There's a grunt. There's gonna be a slave warden in here. Let's not fall off this again. Oh, lovely, double aggro. I'll burn the slave ward, or the spirit weaver down. Oh, we didn't need a spirit weaver. Oh, why was there a spirit weaver? This is just a waste. Waste, I tell you. Just a waste. Uh, well, so we still need one slave warden. Normally, there's always a slave warden there. Okay, what I'm going to go ahead and do now, I know we're one for sure. Yeah, we're pretty good. We're 60%, 60 plus percent into this level, so that's pretty good. The one that always spawns in this room. What I'm gonna do now is just med up, med right here, pause the video so you don't have to watch this, and then I'll come back after we uh, unpause it. Okay guys, we're back. So we met up a little bit here, waiting for the slave warden. This guy has the same idea as I do, he's waiting for one. Should be any second here, he should be respawning. So, as we're just, we'll just finish mending up here. Get this quest done. Then we go down and get some captains. Plus we get some boots. Okay, hey, let's head down here, guys. Oh, do we have to turn that one in? Yeah, we gotta go over here to Hobart. We our, our respawn timer off. Our so so wand has uh, not been reset. We still have like a minute, 40 seconds left on that, so we have to run the old-fashioned way. 
slow. Dun, 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 dun. Right on. And we got some shoes, which are way better than the, the plain cloth ones that we have. Hey, okay, we jumped up again, guys. We're at now at 166 intelligence. So getting there, getting there. Again, we're going to jump up a, a pretty good chunk. I always like to do the shortcut here. Uh, we're going to jump uh, quite a bit once we get out of the tutorial and I buy my uh, beginning set of jewelry. That will give us quite a bit of intelligence gain, too. So not so worried that we're not going to get to the soft cap in here. Uh, we'll get it once we get uh, our jewelry and stuff. All right. See if there's any captains down here or if somebody's already farming them. Uh, we got one captain. Boy, we're close to hitting level nine. Yeah, can't get any closer than that. That was awesome. Perfect timing. I see people just cleared the fort too, so if we can keep it uh, despawned, we'll be able to kill the name guy pretty easily, I think. Let's see what we get in here. See if there is a... Uh... Yeah, they, uh, they killed it pretty good in here. We'll uh, clean some bodies up here. Worst comes above, worst comes to worst, but there's some stuff here with settle. Uh, this, all this stuff is, uh, you know, it's a 7, 7, 24. Um, you know, that is a better dagger than mine. Uh, we'll just hold on to this for now, but, uh, yeah, we might actually get some more damage. All right, that's enough. Cleaning some corpses. Let's clear this room here. Uh, let's see here. Got to be careful over here. I'll leave the warrior. Oh, well, I was going to leave the warrior. Uh, just because if the spirit weavers spawn, or the slave wardens... No, I think it's just the Spear Weavers. They heal, so they'll heal the uh, NPC boss. So we we don't we don't want to uh, have to worry about that. So, uh, but the warriors don't. So as long as we don't aggro them, which we just did, uh, they're no no danger to us. I mean, we have a risk of getting an ad, but uh, I'd rather have an ad than have to worry about them healing. And I think that's a warrior too. So we'll leave him. So we'll just sit right here, bed up, and uh, wait for the NPC. Again, I'll go ahead and pause the video for now. Okay, guys, we came on back. The room's starting to pop, so we'll uh, we'll uh, clear the room here. I want to try to save as much mana as possible. I only got two minutes left on my bus buff too, so uh, this is not going to be good. I can kind of see in this going south, and of course, did we get an ad? Yeah, you gotta love getting when you get an ad. And now we're getting charged uh, because we chose the journeyman uh, mercenary. We're now getting charged, so I don't know if you guys can see that down here. We're getting charged two gold for every fifteen minutes. If we switch to Apprentice, it would be back to free. But right now, the uh, Journeyman has more hit points and hits harder. So we'll just go ahead and uh, keep him. We'll need him for this uh, next fight. There we go. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and turn this buff off and use our shield spell that we got. Okay, we now need to med up here. Med up, man up. Get ready for the fight here. I think there's still going to be one more placeholder. 
not a placeholder, but a, a room spawn with the name. So we'll want to make sure we get that. Um, a little over on video time. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and end the video now. Uh, it start the next video and uh, we'll continue this get ready for this fight here again thanks for watching guys uh, don't forget I still have a twitch I twitch Tuesday Thursdays and Saturdays uh, uh, 6 to 9 Tuesdays and Thursdays Pacific Standard Time and on Saturdays from 5 to 10 Pacific Standard Times so come check me out on twitch uh, to Superfly Todd thanks guys bye bye